Ngayon, meron na naman tayong panibagong gadget sa ating Gadget on a Budget series. At ito ang Poco X3 at panoodin nyo ang unboxing na ito. Cheers, Kibli here. So I hope you enjoyed yung ating opening video kung saan may pa-arty-arty tayong ginagawang unboxing. At nagustuhan nyo rin yung ating ting unboxing ng ating Poco X3. Pero ngayon, pag-usapan natin itong Poco X3. Ang ganda nung Poco, tong phone na to, kasi itong phone na to is just... 12,000 pesos or kung pag kinuha mo yung mas mababang model niya, 10,000 pesos lang siya. So, babasahan ko lang kayo ng konting specs niya. Pero bago natin basahin niyan, tignan nyo muna yung itsura ng phone na to. So, yung phone na to, ang kinuha kong color is yung color blue. At meron siyang kasamang free case na suot ko ngayon, natatanggalin natin. Tignan nyo yung likod niya. I don't know if this is plastic. I think it's plastic but it feels, it doesn't feel cheap. Meron siyang branding ng Poco. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then, meron siyang circular, ano, Nabenta ko na kasi yung Poco F2 Pro 5G ko at kung titignan ko yung case nila sa tingin ko papasok yung screen itong tong phone na to dun sa case niya and vice versa. So going to the specs nito, tong screen na to is an IPS LCD with a res resolution of 1080 by 2400 almost the same or I think the same. And then meron siyang 6.67 inches diagonal na screen, AMOLED screen. It supports HDR10 plus at may 120 hertz display, guys. For the price of 11,000 pesos for the price of 12,000 pesos meron ka ng 120 hertz refresh rate I mean imagine that ang yung mga prices na yun is usually sa mga flagship phones o yung mga nasa 16,000 pesos pataas example yung Realme di ba I think with this with this phone this could actually kill the competition so kung meron kang budget say for example meron kang 5,000 6,000 pesos or you're planning to buy a phone na ang presyo niya is 8,000 pesos Siguro mag-ipon ka pa ng konti to get that an additional 3,000, 4,000 pesos to get this phone. Kasi yung Snapdragon nito, I mean, the processor of this phone uses a Snapdragon 732G and the Adreno 618. And after a week of using this, guys, ipapakita ko sa inyo my, my personal experience and my review of this phone. So basic, basically ngayon, so parang first, not parang, but this will be just be a first impression. So for the price of 12,000 pesos, you have the same cameras, I mean the same camera at least megapixels sa Poco F2 Pro 5G. So yung uh, main shooter niya is a 64 megapixel one, uh, F1.9 wide, meron kang 13 megapixel F2.2 ultra wide, meron kang 2 megapixel macro which is 5 megapixel sa F2 Pro at meron kang 2 megapixel depth of camera. Then it supports 4K at at 1080p kaya niya mag-support ng 60 to 120 frames at sa kanyang 720p it can support 960 frames per second with electric image stabilization. So this phone uses USB-C, meron siyang headphone jack, USB-C headphone jack and guys, for 12,000 pesos. Ito pala kaya siya 12,000 pesos kasi ito yung mas mat mas mataas na unit. Yeah, I think this is the 128GB kasi may dalawa siya. Merong 64GB, 6GB RAM at merong 128GB and 6GB RAM. So ito yung higher model niya. This is 12,000 pesos. At alam nyo guys, for the price of 12,000 pesos, this one has stereo speakers. Samantala yung F2 Pro 5G, single speaker lang siya and it cost 20,000 pataas. At ito, 12,000 pesos, meron ng stereo speakers, high refresh rate screen. Oh my gosh, this is a gadget on a budget na will be hard to beat. So, pwede ko siyang tawagin sigurong gadget on a gadget, ano? Budget killer na parang slash medyo mid-range killer din siya for the specs na ino-offer nitong Poco X3. So, basically, that's it, that is it guys. Uh, don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys after a week. At pag-usapan natin itong Poco, F, Poco X3 sa ating gadget on a budget series episode 3.